Skin Fit here from Trauma Echo. Um, today I felt like going over sending MIDI data over USB for a Fractal Audio Systems X8. Uh, I've not found very much information about this besides the one guy that was talking about it and taught me how to do it. Um, I was looking to send MIDI data to my X8 through a MIDI cable and was having the issue of what I needed to do to send the MIDI data on to the light board as well and he suggested doing this instead since how I'm generally by the computer my board's right next to the computer the USB cable really wouldn't have to be that long and even if it does have to be that long you can always just like USB extension cable, right? So, let's uh, let's talk about this a little bit. We need the the Fractal X8. We need the USB cable that came with it. We need a computer with a MIDI capable DAW, and that should be it. Power cable to your X8 as well. Um, so we start by turning on the computer, plugging the USB into the computer and the X8, turn the X8 on and get it recognized by the computer so that we can control it with some PC and CC codes out of your DAW. At that point we can jump into your DAW. I'm using Ableton Live 10 Suite to do this um, so what you're going to need to do at this point is figure out how your DAW links with MIDI so that you can deal with that so let's get into the DAW so Ableton you go up to the top left hand corner to options click it there's a drop down menu, click preferences. When you click preferences, it will pull up this. When you get this up, turn your X8 MIDI output on, on track. And that should have you set, good to go. When you do that, go ahead and close your preferences out. You should have your MIDI linked at this point. What you're gonna wanna do now is go and create a new MIDI track. I called mine X8 command just to make things simple you're going to want to change the output on this to X8 MIDI and you're going to want to leave it on channel 1 depending on your setup you should, if you're, this is all the only thing you're doing with MIDI you should be fine on channel 1 so from there you are going to want to go down to the bottom left hand corner to the clip section make sure you're down in your clip section at the bottom left hand corner you need your notes and envelopes sections opened up and we're going to start sending some changes here. Um, the first thing we're going to do, I did the first thing that I did, I'm changing patches per song and then inside the songs I am changing scenes. So I went through my live set and set up the program changes you're gonna see inside the notes section program change and you should see bank sub and PGM which is shorthand for program uh, mine, mine says bank 4 sub and the sub is blank and then PGM 118 that is my specific change for one of my patch changes um, this is determined the numbers that go in here are determined by the numbers of the MIDI that your bank and patch is set on. So you'll have to get into your X8 manual, which I'm going to put some pictures of on the end of this video, the actual pages you need to be going through. And you need to look for the MIDI implementation section. And you need to find the bank and patch numbers and the MIDI numbers that those correspond with. The bank is the bank, 
the program is the patch. So fill that in and then you'll end up with uh, a, a small MIDI clip that is blank and you'll at that point you can put that MIDI clip at the beginning of your song or whatever you're doing with this particular thing and uh, it will trigger that to happen. Like I said, minor for songs, but if you're changing patches in the middle of a song or something like that, then you can do that in the middle of a song. It's really wherever you want to put it. The next thing that I implemented was scenes, and like I said, all of my songs are per patch, and then I have scene changes inside of my songs so I don't have that sound gap. Um, so to do this, you're going to go over to the envelope section and you're going to click the drop down next to what says MIDI control. I'm sorry. You're going to go to the envelope section. You're going to click the first drop down box and select MIDI control. And then you're going to click the second drop down box and click select CC34. That is the default Axe 8 CC number to perform a scene change. So at that point you're going to go to the right of your envelopes section where your draw section is what is usually a piano roll. It's now the draw section for the envelope and you're going to want to set that between 0 and 8 which it, the, the way that it works it goes 0 to 127 and you can use any of those and they correspond to your scenes 1 through 8 and it just keeps rolling as you go 0 through 127 so just find the number you want again I'm gonna put the the uh, manual information up at the end of this video so you'll be able to look and find what you need there if you don't have access to the manual. I'm also going to link to the manual in the video description so that you all can check that out as well. Um, so once you've got that done you should have your bank and program changes set up and your scenes set up and you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can turn on and off any effect in the Axe 8. You can control the looper with it. You can do a little bit of everything. This is a really, really, really strong mechanism and it's a really good way to make it to where you don't have to stay glued to a pedal board. We were already going one step up by being able to activate and deactivate multiple effects at once now we are capable of not even having to deal with that we can just set the axate off to the side unless you've got external pedals and if the external pedals are controlled through MIDI guess what you can control them through MIDI off of the computer as well because you're sending the MIDI control from your axate so not a big deal so let's get the initial change, patch change. As you can see the patch name's up top. So here we go. And this is started. There's the patch change. Now, from here, I know for a fact that there's a scene change in the song. Because this is a song we just went over. See if I can go find it. All right. Now that button over top of the one should be changing here very shortly. See? And you saw I didn't move, so. Now, like I said, I don't have audio running out of this because I'm not actually doing anything. Right here are my outputs, right? Here's my input. These are all my 
expression ends and these are my FX loop sends and then some more outputs over here so this is the one thing I do have plugged in is my USB cable running to my computer and my power and then we can follow the USB cable around yeah it's a clustered mess because I've got too many cables so there's that cable same cable oh there it is right there so everything I just showed you all I learned earlier this week in a group on Facebook from a guy who answered my question for help on this subject um, not certain if he would be comfortable with me disclosing his name or not he's also a musician as well um, thanks if you happen to see the video um, not certain where he learned this from if it's in the Axe 8 manual I skipped over that part which doesn't really seem like it would have happened because I'm fairly thorough with my manuals um, so in closing let me know if you all like this video shoot it in the comments uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later this week with another video.